Welcome back to more mind-blowing Reddit stories. I'm Shane, my guest today, Olivia, and first time here, Garrett, hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the show. Hello, traveler. So today's theme, as just said by Olivia, is travel because you two are probably some of the most, like the biggest travelers I'd say out of all of Smosh. You guys have been around the world. You both have stories from all sorts of countries and stuff. It's so cool to hear about. Do you guys have a, a favorite place you've ever traveled to? Out of all the places? That's a, such a hard question, Shane. Um, sorry, Gary. It's a really tough question. <laughs> I, uh, give a place that you do you loved. I loved Beirut. Beirut? Yes, it was one of my favorite you places. You Beirut? Cool. Yeah, I spent three months there. I loved it. The, Garrett, you specifically, it's so funny because it's never just like, oh, I went there for a week. It's like, I, I lived there for five months. That's every story. I, you know, wait, if I have time, I'll just spend <laughs> it there somewhere else. I got three months. I got three months. All right. Then I'm over. Yeah. Um, I was born in China, mm -hmm. so I love going back to China because a lot of my family's there, and I love the food, and um, everyone looks like me, so that's really nice. Uh, I also love Italy. That's great. Yeah. Well, let's hear some travel stories. First up, am I the asshole for taking off my shoes on a flight? All right, was this written by Ian? <laughs> Recently, I traveled to another country to attend a metal concert. The flight was going to be 1.5 to two hours. I only had a carry-on with me, but I wanted to wear my knee-high Doc Martens. They are heavy, big, and wouldn't fit in my carry-on, and even if they did, they'd be awkward to carry. But I also didn't fancy sitting in them for the duration of the flight in a small space. So I made sure they didn't smell by preventatively spraying them with shoe spray before I left home. When I sat down in my seat, I took my shoes off and put on fresh socks. My shoes were under my legs. They weren't bothering anyone. A lady was about to sit next to me and she saw that I didn't have any shoes on and she freaked out, called me disgusting, etc. I tried explaining that I had clean socks but she demanded I put my shoes back on. I refused. She called the stewardess and I explained again. The stewardess told her there was nothing she could do because I wasn't breaking any rules. The lady was huffing and puffing all throughout the flight. She also filmed me when she was berating me so who knows, it may be online by now. But I tried to ignore her and just put my headphones on. The lady even complained about this when we were giving our passports and they ignored her as well. I told my friends about this and they're kind of divided. Some agree with me and some say it's kind of gross and I could have been more accommodating and put my shoes on. Am I the asshole for taking my shoes off? <laughs> uh, look, at the end of the day, the stewardess said you're fine. Yeah. So, you're fine. And they went through a lot to yeah. make sure there was no smell. Yeah. You yeah, know, fresh like, socks. That's yeah. actually, that's so impressive. Like, that's a lot of stuff. Look, if I'm sitting next to someone on a flight and they take their shoes off, even if it's stinky, I, 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 yeah. I'm like, that's your seat, that's your space. I don't care, you do your thing. All right. Yeah. 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 But I, mean, I guess it's because it's only an hour and a half flight. Yeah, it's a short flight too, yeah. relatively. If it's 10 hours, but also, that's but more likely exactly. to Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, those long 10, 12 hour flights, that's when you really just want to get Wait, do you wear your shoes on a 10 to 12 hour flight? Um, I've taken them off. If it, you know, if you're, if it's a flight where you're falling asleep, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you know, or you know, or calling aiming a cab. for it, yeah, or calling a cab. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you take your shoes off? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we all. I yeah. actually don't too often. Um, I don't know why. I just, I, I, I usually wear the like right. I, I, if I'm wearing Doc Martens, sure. You, you wore shoes on 10, 12 hour flights. I might have. Like what I often sometimes do is I just will like loosen the laces and just kind of loosen them, yeah. yeah, so that they're like not as compressed. But your feet puff up. Yeah. This is what I do. Um, I bring slippers. That's yeah. See, that's that's the move. Yeah, yeah. I've on been on flights flight. that give me. Slippers. Yes. I've seen that too. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. 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 I usually leave my shoes on. But ultimately, the person who sucks here is a lady who's. Yeah. Yeah. And also like. You're just filming a guy sitting there. So <laughs> weird. What, maybe that lady has something with, you know, like, is like She's really allergic paranoid. To allergic. Maybe she likes it too much. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, yeah. She's like, ah, oh, I can't look at this. That's, this that, will that's turn how, me on too much. That's how you get 
that's how you get that guy to put his shoes back on. As you sit down, and you just look at him and you just go. <laughs> and he's like, all right. <laughs> uh, some comments here. When you fly, you are traveling in a fart-filled aluminum tube that Ew. smells like an airplane bathroom by the time it lands. I'm not sure your foot odor would be detectable unless you had a legendary case of stink foot, not the asshole. Someone else said, I was going to say you were the ass, but then you described your very reasonable prep and clean socks, and I absolutely get that. I can't pack these boots. I'll have to wear them vibe, not the asshole. Lastly, someone said, as long as your feet don't stink and you aren't bothering me, I don't care what you do. You paid for your ticket, not the asshole. Yeah, not the asshole. Yeah, not, not the asshole. Seems pretty easy, pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on to our next story here. This comes from Petty Revenge. Ooh. So okay. let's see what's going on here. Pickpocket gets a smelly surprise. This happened years ago when our son was a year old and we were on vacation in Venice, Italy. We had a wonderful time and did a lot of walking with our son in a backpack style carrier. While we loved Venice, we found that they were lacking in trash cans. So when we were out for the day, we would change diapers, but had a problem finding trash cans. So my husband would wrap the used diapers in a store bag and put it in his jacket pocket to dispose of in the hotel as we couldn't bring ourselves to leave it in the street. One afternoon, we were in a crowd. My husband had the baby in the backpack carrier and a dirty diaper in his pocket. All of a sudden, he felt his pocket and realized that the diaper was gone. <gasps> when I looked and saw that someone had sliced his jacket and stolen his carefully wrapped present. Other than being pissed off that someone had used a razor so close to our son's leg, we got a giggle thinking of them unwrapping the gift and finding a smelly <laughs> diaper. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a, a razor? Uh, they used a razor yeah. to like slice open something so that they could reach in. And... That is that's impressive. That, that's impressive. That happens a lot. That's Im that's uh, I've never heard of that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, I have heard of like in slick. specifically like tourist areas yeah. and and just really crowded places. Like I've heard about like with New York, it's like you gotta be wary of pickpockets. Really? I mean, New York. I, you know, it, New York is. Someone said that to me. Yeah. I've only visited New York, but someone said that one of the times I was visiting. I never. Experience it. Have I mean, when I live, that? I've never, uh, not in New York, but like New York is where I started putting my wallet in my front pocket. Oh, not the back. I would just not imagine any super crowded yeah, area. Yeah, it's bound to happen. Someone could take advantage of that and exactly. Pocket. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you guys getting stuff stolen traveling? Uh, almost. Oh. Almost. Really? Uh, they were going through my bag when my friend noticed. Whoa. Yeah. Like it was in a market in Bulgaria, and they were just like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just like, you know, I, it was like my, it was my first like big trip by myself. Well, you know, uh, without my family and my friend was like with me and he kind of turned around and saw, you know, a little old lady going through my, my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pickpockets are, are uh, they're, you know, they're, they're committing a crime. I have to say, sometimes I'm impressed when I hear about it. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, a, it's so cool. How they they, it's like that. a magic trick. <laughs> it's yeah. so cool. Like, they just steal. do it. Let me see how you did that. That's so cool. It's close up magic. I'm just, I just, uh, I have a hard time believing it. But then this person literally had his jacket pocket like sliced and a diaper stolen out of his jacket and he didn't realize. So, did this person yeah. smell bad like walking around with a dirty diaper? I, you would think they'd immediately know. I, well, I think like if you wrap it well. Yeah, maybe. And like put it. I mean, that diaper's ending up on the street. Yeah. You know, it's getting tossed it, out. What, the thing that I, I've heard of that sounds similar to this is um, uh, porch pirates. Um, yeah, yeah. It's accidentally stealing like boxes of cat litter. And Wait, stuff. what's porch pirates? Uh, you know how when you get a delivery to your front door, uh, people will drive around neighborhoods and like steal packages? I hate that. Yeah, yeah package thieves. Um, but people often like put like used cat litter. What in if a they're box. just addicted to unboxing? It's a good point. That is a fair That's a good point. point. Uh, yeah. Some comments here. That's one way to stop a thief from continuing to steal. Uh, someone said, that is excellent. And then someone responded to that, that's excrement. <laughs> someone said, you want to buy some shit? <laughs> and someone said, it was a crap trap. And uh, majority of the comments are more poop jokes. Yeah. So I mean, that's I've always dreamt of doing of something like that. Like of what? Like, I don't know, getting one up on, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, a pickpocket, you know, like, yeah. 
Yeah. Where you I'll, grab their hand and you're like, not yeah. so fast. <laughs> well, I hope none of us ever get pickpocketed. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm not wood. All right. Next story. Am I the asshole for refusing to switch seats with a kid on an eight hour flight? It's tough. I've seen a lot of these. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Uh, you know where the, it's like the kid and the parent are separated, yeah. so you might have to give up your seat and stuff. I, I think I'd be willing to do it. I'm someone who can really, like, I can just kind of get it into a meditative yeah. state on a flight. Um, because I, I often go like cheapest seat, whatever, and I'm like, if I'm yeah. sitting in the middle of the crappy part, I will just be like, I am going to yeah. go away mentally for a while. Are you one of those people, I've seen them every now and then, that just sits on the plane and stares at the seat in front of them for no, eight hours? No, I'm, like, I'm not a psycho. No, that's, <laughs> wait, what's, what's wrong with that? Not, what's you're wrong not with reading that? anything, not watching no, anything? No, I, I, but I, I will, if it's a really, if I'm in a really bad situation like on a flight where I'm cramped and stuff that's when I bring my Nintendo switch yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like I need to go gamer mode and disappear into a world yeah if I'm a little more comfortable I love having a book on a flight Are that's you, me wait you just sit and stare at the seat in front of you no uh, yes sometimes I mean I'll like zone out and just be like, and like I'd be scared is, why if I'm, sitting next I, to you, I'd I'm be a in a scared. meditative <laughs> state like when am I gonna have the opportunity to like not think not look and just exist you should I mean, look. You should you should look and act like you're receiving a prophecy and that it's final <laughs> destination. You should just be like. Remember, you made a comment how like oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shane has said like I just imagine Olivia just sitting at home staring at a blank screen. Like that is me. I don't remember saying it, but I know I did probably say that. Yeah, that I, feels like, right. I think I think an airplane is the perfect place just to be staring at nothing. And just I like, love I I would what I will say I am someone who will look out the window for yeah, a long same. time. I'm always blown away that I'm like, you know that this was not something that was possible until right. like a hundred years but ago. But the right? seat yeah. in front of you is even more interesting. What's interesting about the yeah. seat in front? Nothing of you? is going on. Your brain is just like like this. Wait, but Olivia, how long can you keep that up for? Dude, you guys, I don't think you guys realize how much I just zone out and like. <laughs> Like I can, I can literally just stare and not think about anything for an hour. Uh, I mean, my, that's impressive. Yeah, I, yeah. I can do that. I think it's good for you. I think that exactly. Is good. I believe that's called meditation. Yeah. Practice that on an airplane. Okay, I will do that. Yeah. You're welcome. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Here. Yes. Am I the asshole for refusing to switch seats with a kid on an eight-hour flight? This was my second eight hour flight on my way home from Africa via Dubai. I had booked an aisle seat so I could get up without bothering others and a special meal due to health requirements. I boarded the plane, found my seat and settled in. A family gets on with three kids. They don't speak much English and asks if I could switch seats with one of their kids so they can be together. The father of the family wasn't sitting anywhere near the mother and kids. So it looked to me like they had left their seats up to a random assignment. I initially said yes, thinking it was just a move across the aisle, but then realized they wanted me to switch to sit in a middle seat, and I said no. Another passenger then gets up and says, he has a seat in the back that I can move to. No idea how, and I said no. I said that I had booked my seat and ordered a dietary meal, and there was no way I was moving to a middle seat. He then starts loudly criticizing me and saying he hopes I understand that I'm splitting a family up. This eventually attracts attention from the crew because it's holding up boarding. They got a passenger on the other end of the row to switch and sit somewhere else so their kids could sit together. The other passenger from before then starts loudly saying to his kids and the family, do you understand what happened? She thought her seat was too special so she wouldn't let you sit together. I told the guy to mind his own business and he responded that he wasn't talking to me. Uh, I was exhausted and sleep deprived by this point and told him to uh, can it and stop talking about me. I didn't think I was in the wrong here. I organized myself beforehand and booked my seat and felt it was quite unfair to have a random guy criticizing me to half the cabin for not wanting to swap to a middle seat for an eight hour flight. Am I the asshole? No. I don't think so. No. I, I just don't think so. I, if it's a if it's a flight like this where you book, you specifically book a seat, yeah, yeah definitely, uh, definitely not. You know, I've but I've flown on like Southwest and stuff where you kind of just funnel in, and it's a little different to yeah. me. Yeah. And, and it definitely depends on the length of the flight. Yeah. Two hour flight, I would be like, look, man, I don't care. Yeah. So you I'll can do it. Sit I'll gladly do it. My lap. I've never really seen it be too much of an issue whenever that happens because it happens a lot and people always move around. And Wait, so yeah. this person 
were they trying to switch seats in the same like position? She booked an aisle seat. Oh. Yeah. So she could get up without bothering others, and she had a special meal that she had ordered for her seat. So and yeah. uh, so she would be switching from an aisle to a middle. I, I get that for an eight-hour flight, 100%, man. And oftentimes you yeah. spend more money on that yeah. aisle. So she pay, probably paid like maybe a hundred to a couple hundred dollars more for that seat. Would be swapping. Depends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would switch if it was like there's a child in between like two strangers that they don't know and. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, it just depends because that's a really. Well, it ended up working out. What's strange is what I've never experienced is someone asking someone specifically if they can move. Well, Usually, what happens is the yeah. stewardess because that, that's what I'm curious about. Like, why was that seat? Why was her seat the one that they need? Like, I think yeah. the stewardess there, like, should several... be the. Uh, they should be the, the one who... on. I also think people on airplanes are so unhinged. Oh, we, we lose our minds a little bit. Yeah, it's like, why? Yeah. And crazy people go a little crazier. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's also a lot of, I don't know, the entitlement really shows on flights. Uh, airplanes yeah. really are just, I hate well, all there's the a new, airplanes. There's a new airplane video every week. Yeah. Right? There's always someone losing their mind on an airplane every week. It's like, and it's going around on, on the internet. It's but, like once you step into an airplane, you literally become a different person. But how many of those are real? A friend of mine pointed out what? that. What? Uh, there's a, a subsect of those where you can notice that the lights are not how they're, they are on planes. Whoa, what? And I love this theory. From I love this, this one set. Uh, why are they, why would they do that? I mean, they go viral. viral. Yeah, they I go love viral. that theory that yeah. all airplane videos are fake. It's like shot like, in a set. So that lady yeah. who was going, that man back there is not <laughs> real. Yeah. None of it was real. <laughs> Plot twist. Wait, what is that video? I was trying to understand. What was not real back there? I, I don't. That's don't the whole think, point. Is yeah, nobody, knows. nobody knows. Because she like is sort of famous now for that. Because there's there's that <laughs> yeah. woman. There's the woman who's going. That man back there is not real. There's also the guy who's going. I want to shake your hand. I want to shake your hand. There's that yeah that, that guy. I don't know that guy. That, that there's that guy. Here? He's like in a fight with someone, but at the end he's just like, I want to shake your hand. Yeah. And they're like holding him back. He's like, I just want to shake your hand. <laughs> and he's like, he does not want to just shake your hand. Uh, people are nuts on flights. Have you ever encountered any? I've never witnessed too crazy of a person. No. I've witnessed people being jerks and stuff, but not like yeah. viral video. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think so. Maybe here's the thing. I think when things happen like that, I kind of my mind erases it. Well, you are zoned out. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yes. You're, there the a crazy <laughs> thing is happening in your over here just like this you're like well, like people are getting thrown over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like not nothing is happening in my brain. <laughs> uh the verdict was not the asshole. Comments here not the asshole, it's never being an asshole to not move from a seat you specifically selected. Right. A middle seat on an eight hour flight, I'd rather ride out on the wing. Someone else said, not the asshole, the airline split the family up. Unless you got paid to assign seating on the flight, this was not your problem. Uh, someone else said, not the asshole, the audacity and rudeness from that outside person is crazy. You oh, did nothing I wrong. I hate those uh, like it would be nice to do it, you know, to switch the seats, but you don't, have to. Yeah, I just don't like the the outside people going like, I'm like, just mind your own business. Like, yeah, I know. It's crazy how people just love to insert themselves into situations. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, unless they need to, but. Yeah. I just think that the family's the asshole for just specifically targeting. Yeah. Talk to the, talk to the There's, workers. Exactly. But the problem, yeah, the yeah, workers yeah. would have said, sorry, like you, this is a flight where you book your seat. I know. I think most of the time the, they're, the flight attendants are like, we're busy. I think they're as helpful as they can. Yeah, be in I think like they're a very yeah. packed, tough situation. Exactly, and they're like, they don't get paid until the door closes. You know? Oh, shit. yeah. I didn't like the way that their 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 wages work is pretty messed up. Holy shit! It's like they do so much free labor. What? And so that sucks. You know, the fact that they're like keeping us all in line on the flight and feeding us and. They've always been nice. Why don't you know. we tip them? That's a good question. Why don't we just pay them more? I know. Pay them, <laughs> pay you know, them for the noticed, hours like, they're we, all there. Like, yeah, just so many like there. service jobs, you get tipped. You yeah. Know? I guess flight attendants and pilots, they don't. It is true. It, it does fall in line in my head of like service industry. Yeah. Treat, people treat them 
This is the way they treat waiters and stuff, which is just awful. I have yeah. friends who bring uh, snacks for the flight yeah. attendants yeah. and give, it, give them to them. I mean, then they always get free drinks. So that's, <laughs> that's why they do it. But like, you know, like they, you know, uh, give them, like they get on and they're handing out like treats to the that's flight so attendants. so nice. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, next story. Oof. Okay, so oh. this one started on Am I the Asshole. It ended up on Am I the Devil, which is a subreddit <gasps> for the worst of the worst stories. <gasps> All right, here's our next story. Am I the asshole for joining my friends on a trip but staying in a separate, better hotel and doing my own thing a bit? <laughs> I, I love just I love how love many details. That. I wish the title just kept going. I love that. And like, yeah. you know, like doing like going to the own, my own restaurants and doing my own things. Okay, my two friends, they are sisters, are going on a trip for one of the girls' birthdays. They had booked and decided everything already. It's a place I have visited twice already and they know that. I decided at the last minute to join the trip because I have been feeling down and want a change of environment. Plus, it will be nice to celebrate that friend's birthday with her. The asshole part is this. Today, I told them I am available and can join them, but no pressure. They were both so happy and wanted me to join. I asked for the flight details and hotel. I immediately saw some things I don't like. For example, their flight involves a connection, and I know they did that because it's cheaper. I hate connecting flights. I like nonstop and would easily pay more for that, especially for international travel. So I will be booking my own separate flight for the same dates. The other thing is the hotel. Their hotel is not up to my personal standards. They wanted me to share a room with two queen beds, and the sisters would share one bed and I'd have my own bed. But I personally like having my own space. I've shared with these girls before with no issue, but one of my reasons for joining this trip is to give myself a vacation too. I also don't like the area they picked to stay in. I know these friends would find it more fun if we all stay at the same hotel and in the same room too. So, would I be an asshole if I picked my own hotel that's nicer and even in a different area? And would I be the asshole for doing some things independently, but joining them on most of the other days? Some of the stuff they are doing I've already done before because I've been to this place twice. I'm afraid of being a mean person or making them feel bad by staying in a nicer hotel and not staying with them, etc. I know it's somewhat annoying as well, like at night when we have to split up. I guess my reason for doing this was to get to experience a bit of solo travel with the training wheels of having friends there and also to celebrate my friend's birthday and spend time with her and her sister. To me, it seems reasonable, but talking to my siblings, one agrees with me and the other thinks it is mean. Let me know, guys. We are all women in our 20s in this scenario. Um, so this isn't like the typical am I the devil. Like, usually am I the devil yeah. is like a f***ing really bad person who's like very consciously doing shitty things. I think this is a very, I think there's some some nuance to this. Yeah. Um, I, I think I can picture both sides of totally. this. Yeah. And I th my take is she should have communicated how she's viewing this vacation. Yes, yes. She should have said, hey, I'm in a space right now where I'm really kind of looking to travel by myself. Um, maybe I could travel to that place, but I'm gonna kind of do my own thing, but I'll, I'll hang out with you guys some, some days. But I think maybe the way she phrased it was like, I'm available and can join, I can join you guys on this trip. So they're probably a little confused. Well, I mean, where in the process is this? It sounds like, um, sounds like she's planning to say all of this to them. Uh, today I told them I am available and can join them, but no pressure. They were both so happy and wanted me to join. I asked for the flight deals, d d details and, and hotel. I immediately saw some things I don't like. Um, so I don't think she has told them. So would I be an asshole if I picked yeah. my own hotel? That, so mm. she is theoretically stating this. Uh, a question to ask is, did she want, did she really want solo travel or did she want solo travel after she heard how they're going about this trip? Mm. Oh, That's a question. Yeah. Like, like she's like, oh, like once she heard about the flights that they're taking and the hotel they're staying at, she's like, oh, you know, I'm actually though kind of looking to travel kind of on my own, do my own thing a little bit, but I'll join you guys for some things. I don't know, I, I, but I also understand why these friends might be like a, a little offended. A, a little of just like, oh, like kind of kind of feeling like, oh, is our, our trip sucks. And look, I am someone who will book a connecting flight because yeah, that, yeah I, I, I am of the opinion of like, how I view a trip, this is me personally, how I view a trip is I'm like, hey, I, I kind of set out a budget for it, but I'm like, for me, flights, especially the flight coming back home, 
I'm like, I'm down to save money and have it be hell for a yeah. day. And that way I have that extra money for the trip. Mm. And I view that that way where I'm like, now I, when I'm there, I get to do what I want a little bit more. Um, but some people, some people are different. If I was traveling somewhere and someone's like, oh, I'm taking a nonstop, I'd be like, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the I would be like, good for you. Like, th like, like I, I would be happy that that's yeah. what yeah. you're doing because I'm not trying to do that, you know, but if the circumstances I, where I, I have to do the connecting flight, then I'm like, I would not let you not live your life just because I can't do it, you know? This is more just like, hey, I'm going to be in the same city. Let's hang out. You no, know, I think, the, no, 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 I think. like traveling together is what she's doing. Right. The, what she's they, trying to do. They had their plans to travel. Yeah. They didn't necessarily say like, we, like, we planned this all together. They were going, and yeah. she let them know, like, oh, I'm, I'm available if I could join. Yeah. yeah. So I don't see why there's pressure for her to need to. No, there is no pressure, and I think yeah. that's something that just comes with, you know, um, not age, but, like, putting that pressure off of yourself, because I always felt like, oh, if I'm doing this with, it doesn't even have to be about travel. Like, if I'm, if you invited me to do something, I feel like I have to, be there for you at all times. But then at the same time, it's like, you know what, if we're really good friends and you know we're mature about this, there is no pressure and you shouldn't have to feel bad for what you want, you yeah, know? Yeah, right. I did this recently. Yeah. I, I was in her position, but like, yeah, where I was just like, oh, some aspects of this trip aren't really what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, let's just turn this into, hey, we're both gonna be in this place yeah. at the same time, let's connect. Let's meet up. Let's, let's meet up, let's connect, and that, that's fun. I've had that happen where I, I've traveled somewhere and it's more been by circumstance that other people just happen to be there, but they're doing their own thing. And it's yeah. honestly so fun. Yeah. It's like, oh, we'll meet up that one night and we'll go it's, to a bar and we'll yeah. do some stuff, but then you guys are going and doing your thing, we're doing our thing. It's great. It seems yeah. fine. I wouldn't be offended by it because at these sisters didn't think she was going to be joining at all. Right. And yeah. And now it's exactly. like, oh, I might be there some of the days. Great. Yeah. But this is just a theoretical that she's proposing. Why is this the devil? What? So I'm so confused. The verdict is you're the asshole. <gasps> what? Um, what, guys? You're the asshole. You asked if you could join them, which means go on the trip together, no. but you don't want to go on the trip together. Uh, someone said, this feels like a solo trip and your friends are just an afterthought. I believe you should talk to them about the expectations of this trip so no feelings are hurt. I, I agree with that. Uh, I, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, yeah. uh, that it's like, hey, let your friends know what this trip is to you. Yeah. Um, uh, someone said, no one's an asshole. Why don't you frame it as being there at the same time and hoping to catch up and hang out rather than going with them? It's clear you don't really intend to stay with them, so you wouldn't really be joining their trip. I guess I see that. And I see that it's probably like you're the asshole, but it's like not, I don't think it's am I the devil level, but I can understand that it's more about how she's communicating this. Right, that's, right. That's the problem. Right. It's not what she's doing. Yeah. yeah. You're allowed to travel wherever you want and you do what you want, but yeah. Uh, and ultimately, like with the hotels and stuff, if she feels like the hotel's not up to her standard, and if she feels so like guilty about it, I think if I were her in that position, I would be like, you know what? I'll spend a few nights at this hotel that they're at, and then when I want to, you know, maybe towards the end, I can treat myself to the other one, you know, mm -hmm. if this friendship means a lot. Yeah, there's. I think there's ways she could frame this that would not make it a big deal. Yeah, and yeah. just be. Honest. Just yeah. be, like, hey, be like, oh, you know, I went there before. I, I, I really want to go. Like, you guys being there means I, I'd love to go there while you guys are there. There's some <laughs> stuff I yes. really wanted to experience and do this time around. Are you okay if I kind of like join you for like the important birthday things that you're doing and then kind of go? Because I am paying for my own trip here. Yeah. Traveling like, she's not tough. joining and like they're pooling their money. Right. Yeah. I think traveling with friends, it's a, it's a tough decision because. You know, like you never know what kind of, you know, some friends might want to do more museum and like, or some friends might yeah. want to do more sightseeing mm -hmm. stuff. So you kind of have to be on the same page with a lot of the things. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm missing something in this story, I just don't see this as a huge deal, but I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, okay, here's our next story. This was also reposted on Am I the Devil? We'll see if this person truly belongs here. Am I the asshole for throwing up on someone and cussing them out? Holy shit. See, now that's devil behavior there. That's like actually stereotypical exorcist that's devil exorcist, behavior. exorcist, yes. The exorcist literally did that. Oh, yes. That's yes. true. Yeah, you're, you're right. Quite that's literally in that. Well, I, I cannot believe so, it. 
Yeah, technically the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. How do you throw up on someone and then cuss them out? Wait, is that the story? Well, no, wait, <laughs> no. where's the title? That's the title. Oh. But if, if they're putting that as the title, they, uh, they've got it. They're know. asking if they're the You asshole. better have a good reason. <laughs> All right. Throw away because I know people who follow my main account. I, a 27-year-old woman, went on a 12-hour flight with my friend Steven, a 30-year-old man, last week and just got back two days ago. I usually don't fly places because I get airsick and hate traveling, but my husband paid for me and him to go on a vacation before he got busy with work, so me and my friend went instead. Uh, my husband forgot to tell me I needed to upgrade to first class while we were at the airport, and since my friend and I didn't know we weren't already upgraded, we both ended up in economy. I was stuck in a window seat, and Stephen was a row behind me in the middle seat of his row. As I said before, I get airsick, I throw up, and so I need to be able to sit in the aisle seat. A woman, mid-30s, and her daughter, teenager, sat in my row with her daughter in the aisle and her in the middle. I told her I would like to sit in the aisle seat because I get sick. She told me her daughter has a stomach issue, which means she needs the bathroom in case of an emergency, which I doubt. Her daughter looked guilty and wouldn't look at me, so I assumed she was lying. Her mom also said she booked their specific seats so they would be in the aisle near the bathroom. But to me, it sounds like she was too poor to get better seats, and she wanted to be petty oh. because I needed the aisle. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Cool. All right, doing yourself a lot of yeah. favors with this. Steven also asked the person who had the aisle in his row who said they preferred their seats so they didn't move. The flight starts, and an hour or two into the flight, I feel sick. I woke up the woman who was asleep and asked her and her daughter to please get up so I can get to the bathroom. I didn't want to walk around her since the woman was on the heavier side, and I didn't want, to, <gasps> I didn't want my butt in her face or her touching me. She looked at me upset and asked me to walk around her. I said, no, I need you to get up. Please do hurry. I'm going to be sick. She told me to just walk around her and closed her eyes, which was incredibly rude. Oh. At that point, I was feeling extremely sick and threw up on her. She gasped, and her daughter looked like she was about to cry. I told her, see, you selfish bitch, I told you to get up because I was sick, and you fucking didn't. I hope you're happy. A flight attendant came, helped clean up, and escorted them to first class. I was horrified they were rewarding her behavior. <gasps> Stephen came to sit by me the rest of the flight, and I admit I was pissed off. When I told my husband, he said the girl and her mom were at fault. But Stephen and my parents say I should have just scooted around them or thrown up on the floor. <gasps> but my bag was on the ground and I didn't want to get vomit on it. Am I the asshole even though they didn't listen to me when I asked for the aisle and even though they didn't move? Dude. God. Wow. That's a wild one. Whoa. That's... I love that she basically admitted that she threw up on her on purpose. Yeah. Like she had a throw up bag. She's like, I didn't want to get throw no. up on my bag. Yeah. So I threw up on a person. To teach you a lesson. Dude. Wait, this person is not okay. No, this person's nuts. Also, like, wh why would this person reveal that about themselves? Well, throw away. It's a throw away. I know, but this person. It's a throw away account, so it's fully anonymous. Yeah. But it's still embarrassing. It's like even embarrassing anonymous. to even write that. But it's also one of those where I'm like, you are writing this out. Exactly. Do you yeah. not hear? Exactly. Do you not see the words that you're typing out? I. Something that is a uh, clear definer of an asshole, just in the post, even if everything they say is technically fine, is when they make assumptions. When they're like, th she wasn't look at me, looking at me, probably because she was lying. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you don't know that. No. You don't know that the no daughter doesn't that. have stomach issues. Yeah. yeah. They were probably poor. What? That, that's, <laughs> an, that's insane. How do you, how do you, how do you see that? Yeah. Like that's um, crazy. Now. She is the absolute asshole. Yes. She's a yeah, psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This person For should go sure. to jail. Agreed. I will say, if someone's like, hey, I'm about to be sick, can you get up? I. It's not out of like up. politeness. I'd be like, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll do whatever you need. I'm That's, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think this was a little bit of like when an immovable object meets a yeah. unstoppable force. Yeah. Because I, I do think if... She, the the woman in the middle seat isn't an asshole because she is such a crazy asshole. Exactly. But I also think if you're saying no, no. go go around me, I'm like you're you're also an asshole. Yeah. Not you're nothing of an asshole compared, right, to, this compared to this person. Yeah. person. But it's like a little bit of like, hey man, you, you okay. you're gonna find out. Like, because yeah. I also agree that people are crazy on flights. Yeah. And I never want to test it. 
I, I never want to test it. But also the, the stewardess giving them an upgrade means that they probably saw the situation and probably can feel the vibe of this terrifying, well, horrific woman. If you're covered in throw up right. too, I think yeah. they're like, hey, yeah. all right, yeah. sure. Because yeah. also in first class, they probably are like more secluded. And, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's brutal. Well, also, after be getting thrown up on, it's like, you gotta separate those people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're gonna fight. And that might have been their only option. Right. Uh, yeah. Dude, wow. well, especially after throwing up on her, throwing up on her and then going, see, you selfish yeah, I know. Bitch. Crazy, <laughs> I know. that is crazy to this say. This is what you get. Also, this person's 27 years old. Yeah, yeah. Like grown ass adult. This is yeah. crazy, you can't be doing this. You need to go check yourself. Yeah. Uh, do you think they're watching this video, this person? There's, I hope so. There's a slight chance. We've had it happen before, but I don't know. <sighs> really? We've had it happen where oh. people have seen it. Um, we've Dude. caused, we've caused like, uh, we've caused a discussion between a couple. Like a couple saw this and it, it ended up like leading to more conversation. Oh my oh. God, God. It's happened a couple times. There was wow. a camera in her office. She's like, what's this camera? And she saw this and everything. Uh, this happened a few times. So hopefully. Okay. Look, if I find out someone this crazy is watching this. I know, I don't. I would just say, hey, I don't know. Yeah. Don't, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. Don't throw up on us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will literally freak out. Their comments. I will uh, literally gonna, freak out. They're going to reply under this, but it's going to be all weird because there's throw up throw on, up the, on the keyboard. Throw up on the keyboard, yeah. yeah. I, just I throw don't up like on this you. person. This person's making me upset. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The fact they that these are... people exist and do crazy things and are like, Asking, like, am I the asshole? Like, no, duh. No, duh, whatever, loser. <laughs> Why Some, am I talking like this? I don't know, where did, where did this come from? Some comments. Um, yeah. You could have moved away, turned your head, asked for a plastic bag when you knew you had a window seat. There were a lot of options, but you just didn't because you're petty and waited for them yeah. to move instead of moving yourself. Yeah. OP responded. I asked for bags twice, and the attendant kept saying she would get them, but didn't get them for over an hour and a half, and I didn't want to vomit all over the wall or my bag and legs, and I was trying to get the woman to move, so I was already facing her. Uh, no. No. I call bullshit because you cussed her out after. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I think you, I, I think, if you're gonna make so many assumptions about this lady and her daughter, I'm making assumptions about you now. Yeah, exactly. And and she was trying to get by. It wasn't like it just surprised her all of a right. sudden. Like, right. You, you, she could have just like walked around her or like done something else. Like, if I'm gonna vomit, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do. I will yeah. vomit on my yeah. own self than yeah. to vomit on someone else. No, straight else. up, because it's embarrassing. It's yeah. like, I would never do that to someone. No. Uh, someone said, you didn't want to vomit on your bag, but another person is fine. Yeah. Everything in this post screams, the world revolves around me. Facts. You're the asshole. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, that's also true. It's, she's now trying to say like, no, I, I couldn't help it. You just said you didn't want to get it on your bag. <laughs> yeah. You're now lying to all of us. Yeah. If you had time to make all that commotion before you vomited, then you had time to walk around her. This is bizarre. Why would you stand there cursing with vomit in your mouth as opposed to washing your face in the bathroom? That's... Yeah. Yeah. So true, how so true. crazy she probably looked. Yeah. Yeah. I've never witnessed anything like that. I've never witnessed that either. And I've thrown up on airplanes. You've thrown up on airplanes? Yeah. So I, when I was little, I used to have um, this thing where, I don't know why, like I would just always throw up on airplanes. I don't know, I think I would get really nervous. Yeah. And like yeah. something with the elevation just would make me so nauseous. So I always threw up. And I remember the one time when I didn't, I was like, oh, yay. But, and yeah, and and I, I get this, but I always throw up in a bag. Yeah, yeah. there's always yeah. the bag in the Or I just seat. go to the bathroom, like, oh, this is. Yeah, yeah for sure, for yeah. sure. Ugh, I'm so glad I don't deal with that. Yeah. Same. All right, moving on from that, that story. Devil. Devil. Absolute devil. Agreed. Uh, this next post just comes from our travel. So this is just a travel story. Not, not necessarily asking if they're an asshole or not. <laughs> Throwing a knife through the metal detector at the airport. Sure. What? What? I travel quite a bit and have seen my share of ridiculousness, but this one was definitely a winner. This was about a week ago at Portland International Airport at the TSA pre-check line. 
elderly dude, mid to late 50s, in Hawaiian shirt and shorts, has to step through the metal detector and he sets it off. He's told to go back and empty his pockets. He clearly had not done that because a whole ton of shit came out of his pockets that had to go in a basket. Dude steps through the metal detector again and sets it off, again, while obviously fondling something in his pocket, which apparently is still not empty. He is told to go back for the third time, and he sets off the alarm again. At this point, he pulls out a large, folded pocket knife, four inches long and an inch wide when folded, and he says out loud while turning to face the metal detector again, yeah, it probably is this, and throws the knife through the metal detector to the agent. The very surprised agent is able to catch the knife with an this is unbelievable look on his face. The man without hesitation steps through the detector yet again and wants his knife back and is told no. To my surprise and disappointment, he was simply told that the knife would be thrown away or if he so chooses, the knife can be mailed to him. He chose the latter and there were no further repercussions. Again, I am saying I am disappointed because he knew he had the knife knew it was not allowed, attempted on several occasions to smuggle it through TSA, and then has the audacity to simply throw it through the metal detector. Just wow. Edit. For all the folks responding negatively on the word, cho- word choice of elderly, I am, st- I am surprised how personal and sensitive this is taken. The focus of this story is the actual deed of throwing a knife through the TSA metal detector. Nothing more. He did call a... Uh, <laughs> Mid to late 50s, this elderly man, this old man. Merriam Webster defines. <laughs> we, we have a little note in here. Merriam Webster defines elderly as being past middle age. Oh, OP, OP. <laughs> I love how OP ends up being the asshole here. I am um, uh, surprised uh, through the DSA metal detector, nothing more. Merriam Webster defines elderly as being past middle age. This dude was past his middle age. He may have been in his 60s. Dunno, didn't ask. I'm 52 myself, so get over it, lol. Are we good now? He threw a freaking knife. Let's focus on that. (laughs) Everyone's like, hold on, man. Elderly? (laughs) I just saw a guy get murdered. Uh, This elderly man. It's like, whoa, dude. Whoa. Elderly? Slow down. <laughs> yeah, the comments here are very focused on what's important. Someone said four inches is large. Finally, <laughs> uh, someone said gonna start referring to folding knives as growers, not showers. Oh my god! Someone said two days ago I was flagged and received extra inspection because of a can of almonds in my carry-on. Yeah, I mean, dude, um, that's insane. I guess yeah. most of the comments otherwise were about the elderly comment. But what? <laughs> well, yeah, That's not, Reddit. Honestly, Reddit yeah, loves that shit. They're, it's not really elderly. No, Thank but you. but <laughs> um, <laughs> but I will say I am shocked that guy got away with that. I mean, that is I've crazy stuff. I've accidentally accidentally okay. having a knife, but yeah. throwing it through the metal detector. I know that's stupid. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. Part. But I have to say, I feel like the Portland airport. They're pretty chill. It's the best airport in right? the country. Like, it's like Garrett's it's working there, you know? Yeah, it's the number Garrett's one like, airport. It's all the good. Country. They're like, right. sorry, dude, I found this bong in your bag. I'm going to have to rip it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's Before like, I give it back, I'm going to have to take a few rips. And But the knife was folded. True. He tossed it through. What's, you know, what What are they, are they going to just, like, like throw take a down? knife? Like, it, it felt like it was, like, throwing <laughs> Probably this. a knife. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And they just let him get away with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he somersaulted through and ran. <laughs> I forgot to mention this man was Robin Hood. I once found a knife in my pocket on the other side of TSA. Oh, no. And was like, wait, wait, what? Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot oh. about this and it didn't. <laughs> I feel it is important to point out that um, this guy is most definitely, based on his description, um, and everything, probably a white dude. Yeah. Because I feel like this would oh, yeah. not go well for a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. I mean, let's acknowledge that. Yeah. Because that's straight yep. up true. Um, yeah. And also, based on this guy's nonchalantness about probably this, like, I, I, know, can, I, I cannot picture this man as anything yeah. but a white dude with long, like, white hair, probably a white beard, <laughs> like, just like, yeah, what's up? Imagine, right, it's, imagine yeah. it's me. Imagine someone like me. Yeah, well, whatever. Probably from whatever. Troutdale. Catch. Clackamas. Yeah. You know. um, he's wearing flip-flops. This dude's wearing flip-flops. Oh, God. You if you're wearing flip-flops at the airport, yeah. you're brave. Yeah. 
You don't care. But I, that's the problem is I think a lot of you could insert a, a different kind of person into this. They are getting tackled. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. So. But insane. And this person was disappointed in this elderly man. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, so I've been told that this next story was specifically selected for me. Okay. Because it falls in line with some of my travel beliefs. Oh. So we'll see. Oh. Am I the asshole for standing my ground on the unwritten rule of middle seats gets the armrest? So oh. I, I think I've said it, maybe I've said it here, maybe I've said it on like Smosh Mouth or somewhere. I think, and I adhere to this when I'm on the aisle of the window, yep. that the middle seat should get those two. Th Agreed. There should be a benefit to Agreed. every seat, yep. right? The window seat, you get the view. Aisle seat, you get to get up very easily. Middle seat, what do you get? You should get two armrests. Agreed. Yeah, I get it. Agreed. My personal take, yeah. not everyone adheres to it, and I have to respect that. Let's see what this one is. To set the story up, I'm a bigger guy at 6'5 and 215 pounds. I travel a ton for work and am mostly fortunate enough to get an aisle seat, which, by the way, I always respect the unwritten rule that the person in the middle gets both of their armrests to make up for being in that seat. This time, I was not so lucky, and my assignment had me uh, in the dreaded middle seat. I start off, I was the first person to be seated in my aisle and was sitting somewhat comfortably in the middle seat and enjoying my armrests. In comes a shorter and rounder fella that sits in his assigned aisle seat. Let's just call him Stumpy. Upon sitting down, he begins to try and scoot my arm off the rest. It may be worth noting that he was trying to type on his computer. Nope, I wasn't having it and kept firm and maintained my position. As people are continuing to board, the traveler assigned to the window seat comes in and Stumpy and myself have to get up to accommodate. As she gets in, Stumpy quickly sits down before me and now thinks he can boss hog the armrest I was previously using. I looked over and said, I'm afraid I was using that and then knocked his arm off and regained my position. Here's where things get a bit more heated. <laughs> he begins frustratingly hammering away on his keyboard and huffing and puffing in frustration. Then he places his elbow on top of mine and <gasps> proceeds to grind his elbow into oh. me. I let this go on for about one or two more minutes before I tell him, look, I'll share the top part of the rest with you, but you've got to get your elbow off me. He ignores me completely and continues grinding his elbow down. Now I'm pissed and say in a rather loud voice, if you don't get your goddamn elbow off me, we're gonna have a problem. Oh my God. Stumpy stops, looks at me and says, excuse me, but are you threatening me? From there, he raises his hand like a little tattletail and gets the attention of the attendant. He claims he's in fear for his life and he would like me removed from the plane. <gasps> Some other guy a couple rows back that must have heard me chimes in to Stumpy's defense. I'm genuinely worried that I may get escorted off the plane and get a fine or something. The attendant walks away for a moment and finds a passenger that was willing to switch seats with Stumpy and the plane can now take off. Lucky for me, this new aisle buddy didn't even try to take the armrest. So I know an armrest may seem like a trivial thing to get in a fight over, but I felt like I was in my right to hold my ground. Maybe I could have chosen some different words in hindsight, but I felt that his elbow digging was a dick move in its own right. Am I the asshole here? Uh, t TLDR, I stood my ground over the center seat armrest I was using and thought I would get escorted off the plane, but ultimately got to keep the armrest. Damn. Oh. Uh, look, as I stated, yeah. I believe in the unwritten rule. Yeah. I don't know if I believe in it as hard Bad, as this yeah. guy does. Holy shit, he's willing to die for it. Well, and he's going about the, the whole wrong way. Yeah. It's just like, hey man, I am in the middle seat and I need these armrests. Excuse me, man. Do you mind Please. if I yeah. take these? Like, uh, yeah. He started off so so strong. Yeah. That it. Um, yeah. He escalated right from the. Yeah. Window. And Stumpy was right there with. These were two dudes who were yeah. ready to throw down. Yeah. Uh, something on Animal Planet. You yeah. know, where it's like, and now to assert dominance over the armrest. Uh, it's just not worth it. It's so awkward. You're gonna have to sit the rest of the flight with this. Like, I know. It's like not worth this weird. Tension. That's also my thought when I'm on planes of why I try to be overly polite. Because yes. I'm just like, yeah. we are stuck here. Exactly. Yeah. We are in the sky. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing we can do. No. Uh, and flight attendants know, you know, like I've been threatened to be punched. You know, I've had somebody threaten to what punch me. What did you me. do? Uh, they I were, took the armrest. I took the armrest. <laughs> and he was grinding. This is actually me. Uh, I was, I, it was on a long flight. I leaned my seat back. The guy behind me kept kicking me as I was trying to fall asleep, and which 
can you lean? I'm curious what people think about leaning seat back. But the seat wait, leans back is my take. Yeah, the seat does it. They should make them not do it if it's not if it shouldn't be allowed. Wait, wait, you can lean your seat back, yes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, yeah, you can lean your seat back. So why is that a problem? For this guy, it was. Some people think you should only do it when it's like uh, the lights are off, shades are down, like sleeping. You're stuff. kidding me. This guy's kicking the back of your seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I just turn around and I, in my head, I'm very polite we about it. We know how you say things. Yeah, I was just like, hey, do you mind, uh, you know, st- you know, you're kicking. Listen, my seat. you fucking. And he was loser. like, we're gonna punch you in the f- face. That's what he responded with immediately. Yes. If you don't lean your seat, up, sit, lean your, put your seat. And what back did you up. say? Uh, the flight attendant was right there, and I was like, uh, "Excuse me," I went straight to her like a little tattletale. I well, guess. Yeah. I guess that's a tattletale. But uh, and the flight attendant was like, "I didn't see anything. Sorry, <gasps> I didn't hear anything." That is like, so okay, lame. I guess I'll just sit here with this guy right behind me who threatened to punch me in the face. Wait, wait, wait. So did you lean it forward again? Yeah. Stop. Well, he wasn't gonna punch you. I, 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 no, I, I would absolutely. I'd be like, I am not yeah. gonna get in a fight on a plane. Garrett, if I was on that flight, I would have, yeah. I would have, I would have stood up for you. Thank you. I would have thrown up on him and cussed him out. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That would have been good. But um, yeah, it's like you know, you just want to de-escalate and just be yeah. like, of course, on a flight specifically. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Um, so the verdict of this one was that everyone sucks here. Yeah. They said that this guy and Stumpy both suck. Yeah. And yeah. I agree. Yeah. They're agree. both being very petty over an armrest. Um, some comments, not the asshole. That guy was being a jerk and selfish. Probably should have called the flight attendant yourself when the guy was elbowing you. Someone else said, you're the asshole. I've never heard of this rule. Other guy is an asshole too. OP responded, it's a thing. Do you fly very often? <laughs> okay, dude, stop. Uh, Someone else said, sounds like you were both assholes. Him for elbowing you, but you for knocking his arm off at a point where that didn't really seem necessary and being very hostile with your choice of words. OP responded, yeah, in hindsight, I thought I could have handled the situation differently. And I agree with that. Yes. Um, I believe in the rule, but I know that not everyone knows of the rule. That's okay. I didn't know about that rule. I know of the rule, and when I experience other people adhering to it, I'm like, you get it. Yeah, yeah I, I never you. heard about that. I also believe that people in the middle seat should have like extra points to their uh, air. Like get extra miles. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, extra miles or something. Like, like, like it. A well, the middle bit. seat should be. I think they are cheaper typically in like when you pay for like specific seats. Oh. I think. So. It really? depends. Depends on the no, airline. The back. How the airline works. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I think there should be some sort of incentive to take the middle seat. They give you a little tiny bottle of Jack. Yeah. Something like, like hey, that. we know you're going through a hard time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I adhere to the rule. Even when I'm at the window, I yeah. I try to lean against the, the wall. I love sitting by the window because there's always a little crevice with the wall and then the seat, and I just put my head low right there. It's really nice. It is uh-huh. nice. That's all I have to say. I'm more of an aisle guy now. Really? Just I hate because that. They always knock my knee. They, they always knock my knee too, but I want to be able to drink water freely <laughs> without oh. worrying on, about on it. On long flights where they push the cart down, I have gotten like run over. Oh yeah. yeah. Say, they yeah. do not But also like crap. then people next to you, they have to like get out to use the restroom. But I know, but far... I feel bad every time I do that, so I don't drink as much I would water. rather have to get up. And honestly, if you're on a really long flight, it, you should get up. Yeah, you do skip. So I kinda, never get up. up. Yeah. I stay there and I just stare. No. You should. You should stand up, stretch. Yeah. They're like, is that, is that person okay? She's been just <laughs> sitting like this for 12 hours. Frozen? You, no, you should get up and walk around like that. Oh my that. God, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. What, uh, what about the idea of the armrest being first come, first serve? What does that mean? Like, like, like if you sit down first, you get, you get it? I don't, I don't believe no. that. No. Middle has the two. Uh, you know, then you aisle and uh, window have their one. Yeah. 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 It's not fair for, for one the window or the aisle to have both armrests and like freedom from one side. Right. How do right. we make this not an unwritten rule, but an actual rule? How do we I know do we Maybe there we, should be like diagrams on the seat in front yeah, 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 show yeah. like, hey, this is for you. Because Please. otherwise what, what has happened to me before, because I have been in situations where yeah. both are and I have to sit there like this. Yeah, yeah it's the worst. And I'm like, this Dang. sucks. I know. Yeah. This is awful. Yeah. Well, okay. Let us know in the comments down below where you stand on the armrest issue. Okay, last story. 
am I the asshole for talking about my heritage? Uh, this also ends up on am I the devil? I'm not too surprised that a lot of travel stuff ends up there. Yeah, yeah, fair. I am 38 years old. My family came from Scotland back in maybe the 1600s or so. I live in the U.S. Last year, I got my first passport, and I decided that Scotland would be the first place to head. After all, I have Scottish blood. I did a bit of research on my family tree before I left, and I learned that apparently I am entitled to a coat of arms, and I had that drawn up. A couple of days ago, I was drinking in some pub, and some Scottish louts uh, started to ask where I came from. I said, where is my family from? Scotland. They then said, do you know what Iron Brew is? And I said, no. And they said, <laughs> and they said, well, then you aren't f***ing Scottish yeah. then, mate. No. Nope. I tried to explain my family history and how I was just as Scottish as they were. I told them I had grown up around Scottish culture, and I even told them about the clan that I am part of. They said, you ain't no f***ing Scott. <laughs> Eventually... The publican escorted me outside, told me that I was barred for causing a ruckus. Was I an ass? It isn't like I was wearing my kilt. Nobody in the pub was. But why the f*** should I be punished because I come from the U.S.? I have just as much Scottish blood in me. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, these are why people uh, hate yeah. U.S. tourists that so is crazy. much. Oh, God. Uh, um, so I've, I've been to Scotland before. And there was a day where I woke up and I was pretty hungover because I was at the pub the night before. Mm -hmm. uh, the whiskey's really good. And um, I stumbled into a, a, like a, a cafe and I was like, I need to find something to like help. And I see Iron Brew. And in my head I go, that's got to do something. And I, I drank it and I was like, what is this? Yeah. It is for And I had no idea that I had entered a realm yeah. that I had no idea what about. What is Iron Brew? I, I, I have no idea but what to tell you other than it tastes like soda that's flavored like bananas. Yeah. And it's got, uh, it's got iron in it. Yeah. It's got like this, ferric this, acid is, is, is or something. Is this like a coffee? No, it's, no, it's a like soda. a sports drink. It's like a soda. But they, I, you know, you, you go to like, uh, you'll see like people drinking it with breakfast. Is it good? I liked it a lot. Um, it, it does look like a sports drink though, because it, it kind of has like a doesn't yeah. like a muscle man kind of thing on it. So you, I thought yeah. it was like a, uh, I thought it was like a propel type of thing. No, more of a soda. Yeah, but I still liked it. I drank it all. How did you feel after? Like iron. No. My um, first time I dr I was in Scotland, I drank it so much that I lost my voice. <laughs> like I think that's that I turned I think to iron. That I turned into Iron Man. Um. I, I will say, uh, and I mean, you can definitely speak to this. Uh, Scottish people were so nice. Yeah. But I can also imagine if you tried to pull this shit nope. on them, <laughs> like, holy <laughs> shit. Nope. Um, nope. Look, my family came from Ireland in the 1800s. I am not Irish. Yeah. I'm American. And it's like, I don't, your blood doesn't matter, man. You're, you're, yeah. you are culturally American yeah. and they know immediately. I think it's fun to go back to, totally. you know, go back to, Places yeah. like that. It's a good reason. That's a Nobody's good way gonna, to. Like, but, but yeah, these guys wouldn't have been upset if he said, "Oh, you know, my family least, moved yeah. from the from yeah. here in the 1600s." Like they'd be like, "That's great," but don't tell them you're Scottish, yeah. just as Scottish as they They're are. No. So like, what the that. hell, man? Like, you know, there's a lot of culture that happened in the past 400 Hundred years. years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, uh, I, I, <laughs> that's so insane, this man. That's insane. That guy's nuts. That's yeah. pretty nuts. I love that he got kicked out of the pub. I know. I, <laughs> oh I love, God. though, that he called him the publican. He's that bought into him. And he called being, him louts, too. Yeah. Like he's that louts. bought into him being Scottish. That's crazy. That he is calling the bartender a publican oh. and the, oh the other guy's louts. I don't know what lout is. Oh, oh. <laughs> Definition. Uh, info. Lout is a Scottish term for troublemaker, a crude and oafish person. Yeah. I love that he's just like, he's already like, these louts. louts yeah. <laughs> I'm just as Scottish well, yeah, as you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has only watched Shrek, Shrek recently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so embarrassing. God. Oh my God. Holy shit. That is the biggest ick, I think. Yeah. Uh, oh. Also, it's OP spelled Iron Brew, but correct spelling is 
I R N dash B R U. I remember they, that too. I remember being like, "What is this?" Yeah. Did they did, in it? Did they they spell? They it spelled out it out I-R- Iron Brew. Oh, oh come they're not they're not Scott. No. I love how quickly like I love how they knew the exact question they needed to ask. Yeah. Have you have you had Iron Brew? Yep. No. Then I'm sorry, man. I'm yeah, sorry. you're not. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I I've had Iron Brew and I'm still not. Yeah. Uh, Scott. So I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I like how it's not like whiskey. They're like, no, it's not whiskey. It's not beer. Nope. It's not. It's Iron Brew. <laughs> yep. Um, gorgeous, thing. gorgeous country, though. Um, uh, some comments here. You're the asshole. It's been around 400 years since your family lived in Scotland. <laughs> you should have said, I'm from America, but I have Scottish ancestry. There's a difference between growing up in a country and having ancestry from that country. You're the asshole for, one, insulting the locals when you're a guest in their country, and two, making a post that paints Scottish people as inhospitable louts. Your word. If you can't behave yourself abroad, then stay home. Mm. Uh, Someone said, you're the asshole. You're the American. (laughs) YTA, you're the American. Uh, Yeah, it's true. He he painted them as being shitty people, and they really were so cool when I visited. Uh, But I've never visited anywhere where I felt like the people were mean. So I've I've been fortunate. Um, different cultures so nice. of, I think a lot of Americans probably think certain people are assholes because of the way people express mm-hmm. things. I've heard that about like Germany. Like Germany's not, yeah. they're the opposite of Americans where they're not, they're not going to put on a face for you. Right. Yeah. You know, they, they, they actually see it as weird to smile yeah. it, to a stranger. They'd be like, you don't know me. Why right. Yeah. Right. Why, yeah. Um, but yeah. uh, it's but, very, this is very American. This guy is very American. Well, yeah. was this his first trip, did he say? I it think so. Like, it, this sounds like. I got I, my first passport. Yeah. Because ah. my, my first trip, I, I, I probably was somewhat similar. Yeah. Like, it was like in college, and I went and I like tried to fully become European, and I came back to college and that whole semester everybody called me Euro Garrett because I was trying to be <laughs> European <laughs> that whole time. What is going yes. on, you guys? Yes. <laughs> I was wearing like turtleneck sweaters all the time. Oh, Garrett, like, that's so cute. Yeah. That's sweet. But um, it's like, your, your bathroom doesn't have a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your first time, you don't know. You, right. You're just like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I'm it's embracing cool. this. I love it. I get that. Yeah. I'm just glad I But was, you weren't yeah. an asshole to the locals. Right, right. No. I, w- I didn't you try to You came back and you were an asshole yeah. to everyone Yeah, back to everybody exactly. at home, yeah. A little different. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't, if you're American, don't do that. No. Just don't, man. I don't care. Not there. It doesn't matter where your family's from. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, well, that's it. What's like your dream place to travel to right now? Right now? Yeah, like where, where's, where, like, if you could travel anywhere in the next couple of years, where would you love to go? Ooh, I would love to go see Egypt. That's really mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Mine's kind of in that I I haven't taken like a history trip where I've gone cuz I love like, oh, I want to see the history. And so Greece is definitely up there for me. Mm. Yeah, I'd love to see some ruins. Yeah. Greece is yeah, and also I love the food. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right. I I I know I would love the food. Yeah. Greece uh, is cool. Next on my list, uh, we're planning to go to Colombia next. Cool. Nice. Well, we're also talking Vietnam and Senegal. Ooh, I want to awesome. go to Vietnam too. Yeah. Awesome. Um, you know what's funny? The last thing I'll say is, because um, for people who live in other countries, something I've heard about people traveling to America, and it's so funny as an American to hear it, of them thinking like, yeah, we're going to go to New York, and then we're going to see the Grand Canyon. And yeah. Gonna, and it's like, dude, you got to pick one state. Yeah, like, yep. pick one state. Pick one state, and you're still going to be driving forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't do L.A. What? I, I, LA. I wouldn't do L.A. If you're, if you're coming to America for the first time, I wouldn't say yeah, that. Yeah, go to I, New York or something. New I, York City's a good, like, but New York City's also, but also every part of America's unlike every other part of America. It's true. Totally. But I, I think L.A., depending on what kind of trip you're looking for, but I think L.A. would be cool because it's got uh, everything. That's true. Hollywood. But, yeah, don't no, do d- that. Avoid don't do Hollywood. Hollywood. Avoid Hollywood. What? I think that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Do everything around Hollywood. Go to the beach, you know, maybe go to the mountains. Go to Yosemite. or like. Because there's, like, a reason... Like Korean tacos came from LA, you know. Yeah. Like there's Hollywood so many is cool. cultures coming together in LA that is yeah. unlike any. What other places outside of like London, New York, LA? It's true. Have so many cultures. Yeah, I know. I, I honestly do think LA. You should come to LA. Yeah, I think LA is so cool. There's so much rich history, yeah. like entertainment. Come on, movies. I, I, and stuff. I look. Maybe I just take it for granted. Yeah, maybe. I guess like I it's, do. Yeah. Like I remember going my my first like Universal City or Universal Studios 
star tour. I was like, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> All right, yeah, I guess Just come out here the, and get, the, a, get on a star tour. Yeah, I don't, love don't that. Don't go to Hollywood Boulevard, though. Do not go to Hollywood Do not Boulevard. go to Hollywood Boulevard. That's a great place. What? You know, we, have, you ever, why? have you ever been to the freaking uh, Stars? Capital One Cafe there? No. Oh, huh? the Capital One Cafe? The bank cafe? Yeah, great. It's right next to the Kodak Theater. <laughs> well, to all our travelers watching, safe travels. Uh, be kind to your uh, flight attendants. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, give the middle person the the armrest. Yes. The armrest. Give them the armrests. And uh, let us know any crazy travel experiences you've had in the comments down below. And as always, let us know what other subreddits themes you want us to cover. And thank you both for being here. Thank, thank you, you Shane. for having me. All right. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a safe flight.